Sometimes history helps us make sense of what's happening right now, and historians can help us see the forest for the trees now and then. Michael Beschloss has written 10 books on the presidency. He's NBC News presidential historian. He's here to give us context. Michael, good evening and thanks. Thanks. Delighted to be with you, Sean. Context. Is there any historical reference that gives us insight on what happens last night? Anything like that ever before? I wish I could give you one, Shep, but you go through all of history, you'll never find a fall presidential debate that got this far out of control. President Trump obviously went into this thinking that, you know, he would try to dominate and speak through Joe Biden. And the result was that a lot of what Biden said was drowned out. Poor Chris Wallace, whom you and I both know, was put in a very difficult position because the rules did not allow him to turn off anyone's microphone. Around the world, is there an analogy, is there a comparison to another world leader acting in this way? Well, I think it, it, it begins to resemble the kind of countries that we Americans usually lecture to and say, your political system should be more like ours. Usually we point to our presidential debates and say, we are so democratic, small d, that we've got debates where an incumbent president goes in, speaking, uh, against, uh, speaking with his rival, and the rival criticize him to his face. Where else but America would that happen? It really didn't happen enough last night. Michael Beschloss, live tonight. Michael, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.